Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Emory and Henry Weekly Re Esports Recap, Episode 2. My name is Jay, and I am joined by the assistant director of the program, as well as co-host Scuba Dubert. How's it going, dude? Hey, I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. I've had a pretty good week, and it's been a pretty interesting week for the program, as you can see on the screen here. In Overwatch, Team A lost 0-3, going 0-3 for the season, while Team B lost 0-3, going 1-2 for the season. Uh, in FIFA, C4 and Brandon Brito both lost, leaving their records as 2-1 and 1-2, whereas Brandon Blair won, leaving him at 2-1. In NBA 2K, Ethan also won, leaving his record at 1-2. And in Smash Bros. Ultimate, Team A won 2-0, leaving their record 1-2 for the season, whereas Team B lost 1-2, leaving their record 2-1 for the season. And finally, in Hearthstone, Orin won, leaving his record for the season 2-1, whereas Janai lost, leaving his record 1-2. In this week's clip, we see Avery on the Me Gunner. He's about to get the final stock off on Sora, and he's really been enjoying this side smash attack. Let's check out what happens here. Like that right there, but... Um... I just shouldn't have pointed it out. Or just the active frame. It has high recovery and but, high active frame, so if you just right. on the wrong side, if you, if you mess up. Oh. Yeah, it's very strong smash attack as long as, you know, they're they're not, they don't get through it. Yeah, there we go. That should be the stock. Yep. <laughs> My man just said, yuck, yuck, Send yuck. it. Over and over. And now we have an interview with the coach of our Super Smash Brothers Ultimate team, uh, Colt. Thank you for being here, man. How's it going? Thank you. I'm doing good, man. For y'all. Doing all right. We're doing good. We're excited to have you on. So, to start, how did you get into Smash Brothers? What, what was your first uh, foray into Smash? Uh, dude, I started playing on the Nintendo 64 when I was five years old. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, I played it as, like, my main game mm -hmm. uh, ever since then. Like, 64, uh, Melee, Brawl, and then uh, Wii U, and then this one. Like, it's just been my favorite game Yeah. ever since I could you know, work your controller, really. <laughs> what was your, like, favorite character back in the day, you know, before Incineroar? Smash 64, I liked Captain Falcon. Uh, in Melee, I liked Link and Game & Watch. In Brawl, I, I liked Toon Link and Lucario. In Smash 4, I liked Robin and Ike. And then, um, let's see. And then in Ultimate, I... You know, obviously in Sinner War, but yeah. um, I dabble in a bunch of other characters too. So it's a huge variety. Like each game, you got like a couple of different characters that you, yeah, you bust yeah. out. That's cool. Yeah, I, I like, you know, a bunch of other characters too in every game. Like there's always going to be one that you do the best with, but other of them are like really fun too. For sure. So. How do you feel about the current season? Uh, how 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 do you feel like about the teams, their performances? What, what are your thoughts? I feel like the guys are playing well. Um, I think we got two losing records right now. But yeah, um, we're keeping it competitive, which is good. Every match that we have usually is pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, all my guys are improving, so that's always really good. When we do lose, like, we just barely lose, so. Right, yeah, yeah, but that's what you we're, want. We're competitive right now, which is what I like to see. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. It's been a lot of fun watching them. Uh, and one thing I've noticed as well is that there's a real uh, variety of characters that the um, that the players, the athletes play. Um, do you have any, like, say over what the, they decide to play, or do you just sort of let them do their thing? Uh, I let them do their thing, but... Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, they'll ask me, like, hey, like, should I go this character against this character? Like, just last week, I think, or two weeks ago, um, we were counterpicking. It was Alex's turn, and he has, like, a an Ike and a Cloud and a Game Watch. And we were like, well, dude, I think Game & Watch would do better in this matchup. So we just sent the Game & Watch out, and he closed out the round, so... It worked out. But usually I just tell them, you know, just play whoever you're feeling confident with. Just go out there and have fun. Do your thing. I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to tell you to play someone that, you know, you're not really feeling. And there's a few new players on the roster. 
I, for this season. Um, I believe yep. it's uh, Neil and yep. Cade, if that's right. Uh, yep, that's correct. How are they uh, fitting into the dynamic? You think they're like enjoying it? You know, they've been yeah. they've been putting up really good performances. So yeah, both really good players. They're both really enjoying it. So that's all you can ask for. Yeah. And uh, you know about the character selection, we have a lot of really off meta picks. I mean, Dylan yeah. obviously being one of the players on the A team he plays Doctor Mario, and we've got yep. Neil on the B team playing uh, me Gunner, for example. Um, how do you think that That's... like does that work in our favor? In what ways you know uh, is that sometimes maybe detrimental, or or if it is at all? Well, um, Neil is the ZSS, you know, Mega Man hero. Uh, Avery was that oh, me gunner. That's right. <laughs> he just Avery just plays so many characters. It's hard to keep up with him. Yeah. But um, this game, I feel like it, it's mostly about like understanding the game than it is about like picking a top tier. Like if you're the better player, you're probably gonna win. But then there's also this other factor of like, do you know how to fight this character? Right. Like if I had like a team of like Pyromith or a Wolf, X top tier. Yeah, that everybody Pena, knows how to fight. Yeah, yeah, like, like those characters are good, but like everybody knows how to fight them for the most part. But mm -hmm. like we got like a Doctor Mario, whoever fights a really good Doctor Mario, <laughs> you know. So like that's kind of our to our advantage, you know. Like you said, the Me Gunner, nobody knows how to fight Me Gunner. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it, it kind of works. Um, if you can play an obscure character, that's kind of to your advantage going into a fight. Like if they don't know what they're doing against you, that's that's good. Yeah, right. absolutely. So, so yeah, if you can like just be good with the character, you know the tier list question kind of it doesn't really matter anymore because if you can play well and they don't know what they're doing against you, then it can be a pretty good win for you. Yeah, yeah it's always seemed like tier lists. You know that applies to like the absolute top point zero 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 one percent of players, but for you know. Uh, where there's skill differentials, I feel like uh, the yeah. tier list isn't nearly as yeah. relevant. And um, the tier list, man, um, the tier list isn't the most simple thing in the world. Like, yeah, there mm -hmm. are characters that are just better than other characters, but some of those characters on, like, the lower end of the tier list will have, like, a favorable matchup against some yeah, of the characters yeah. on the higher end of the tier list. Just off the top of my head, Donkey Kong, kind of low. Cloud kind of high. Donkey Kong low key beats Cloud, so right. <laughs> it, yeah. it can get really funny. Yeah, no, a matchup sort of parts gonna be really useful for that, right? Where you can kind of see like, oh, this is like a sixty forty or like an eighty twenty, you know, yeah. between these two characters. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for uh, coming onto the show, Colt. Really appreciate it. Yeah, go watch. So that's the show, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to Colt for joining us for this episode. Uh, be sure to tune in next time, where we will be going over some other highlights, as well as another interview, this time with a player. Peace.